brother's being assertive. Here's a guy who knows all about fiddling around and isn't, isn't afraid to talk about it. He doesn't mind at all. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Cross. Thank you. Thank you very much. In an effort to make this more than just an evening of wild entertainment, the Smothers Brothers University here is proud to present this evening's lecture in Musicology 403. Tonight's lecture deals with the Appalachian fiddle. Many people wonder how the Appalachian fiddle creates its unique sound and thus differs so much from the violin. It does so because of the way in which it is constructed, which is in the following manner. We start with an ordinary cigar box. We attach a series of laminated popsicle sticks. This creates the sound chamber in the neck of the fiddle, as it's now called. Now, the handsome scroll work up here is actually a cryogenically frozen Tennessee land snail. You understand? <laughs> now, taking the entrails of a mature feline, that is, cat gut, we stretch them across the sound chamber. These are the strings. Now, taking an ordinary cherry wood stick, we stretch hair from the tail of a horse freshly washed across the stick. We sprinkle it heavily with pine rosin, that is, sap from the pine trees indigenous to the Appalachian region. Now, finally, and most importantly, inside the sound chamber, we place a live baby kitten. <laughs> now, as the horse hair is drawn across the cat gut, two things occur. First of all, the baby kitten hears mother's entrails vibrating. <laughs> That's really cool. Secondly, the rosin dust from the bow flakes down into the sound chamber and irritates the kitten's nostrils. This causes the kitten to shriek aloud and thus produces the sound of the Appalachian fiddle.